Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be another declutter. I feel like I've done a little bit more decluttering this year than like maybe I had originally anticipated I would be doing at the beginning of the year. And I want you guys to know I never purchase products with the intention of decluttering. And anytime I declutter, my sister and I literally have these like makeup and clothing trade parties. So usually I'm just like giving my makeup to her or sharing with my friends, etc. I'm never throwing it in the trash. But I just finished filming my ranking series for like my bronzer, blush, and highlighters. And it really got me thinking about the products in my collection that I am not reaching for that often. And then as I was thinking through that, I really started to look at my collection and think about the products that I wasn't loving in my, in my collection and think about if they were to be rolled into like my whole collection project pan and I had to commit to finishing it up, panning it, even a usage goal, how would I feel? So through that mindset, I tried to go through my makeup collection again and really consider what I wanted to keep and what I just don't feel like I need in my collection anymore. My collection is kind of reaching that point where I feel like it's starting to feel a little bit overwhelming, but I love bringing new products in. I love testing new products. Like honestly, that is part of the excitement of doing my makeup is testing new products. So I have a huge bin of things that I'm going to be, de that I'm going to be decluttering. Hannah, get ready. I've got a lot of makeup to bring to you next time. Ah, uh, but this is going to be a declutter video. So if you guys are interested in seeing the products that I've decided to part ways with, stay tuned. First, if you have yet to subscribe to my channel and you like project painting content, or you just like to chit chat about makeup, I would love if you'd consider subscribing before moving on. And other than that, let's get into the video. All right, you guys, a couple of things to get out of the way. I'm currently tanning with a tanning product that has color guards. So I'm like this awkward shade of like army green right now. So my face is probably not even near my body totally fine and then i was playing around with um lip combinations and i have like eight products on my lips at this point because i was trying to save it so it might be looking a little crazy in the viewfinder i'm like i look crazy but that's okay i'm fine with it um okay i was gonna save my declutter until like mid-september but i had this huge bin of products i was like it's just time to declutter then hopefully I'll be good for a bit and then I do plan to do a makeup inventory update at the end of September just because of my makeup rehab series. I'm trying to really stay on top of how many makeup products I currently have in my collection and I figured if nothing else that would be super helpful to me. So stay tuned for that. If you guys are interested in my makeup rehab series or my last makeup inventory I will leave those in the description box linked as well. But let's jump in to this a couple of these products if you watched my chopping block series update you might recognize from my chopping block there are quite a few products that i've decided to clutter decided to declutter after uh doing that series but let's start with the four foundations that i've decided to declutter so up first i have this one from ilia the last few times I've tried to use this, I just have not loved the way that this looked. I really enjoyed this last summer, but there have been so many skin tints or just lighter coverage foundations that have come out since that I prefer over this at this point. So when I reach for this, I feel like I'm sacrificing reaching for a product that I enjoy more than I enjoy this. So for that reason, I'm going to be decluttering that. Also, my QMS Medi Cosmetics Active Glow. I just have not enjoyed this the last few times I was reaching for it. And my foundation collection is already large enough that I just don't have time to try and work on products that I am not loving. <sighs> I have decided I am going to declutter my Catrice HD Liquid Coverage Foundation. I really don't not like this foundation, but... It came in last in my foundation ranking and it really got me thinking about how frequently I use this, which is not frequently at all. This is more full coverage and I just honestly would be totally fine with not having any full coverage foundations in my collection because I just don't love a super full coverage look. So for that reason, I'm going to get rid of that. And then recently I rolled my Urban Decay Stay Naked Hydromaniac Tinted Moisturizer into my Shop My Stash. And I just have not enjoyed the way that this has looked on my skin either. When I reviewed this product, I said I was really let down. I thought I was going to like this a lot more than I did. And this just feels heavy on my skin. And I just don't, I don't enjoy it. So I was trying 
in my head I was like no this is new to my collection I like just purchased it this year um not too long ago like keep trying and I tried it a few more times and I just I just am not enjoying it so in my opinion there's no point in keeping it then speaking of new products I do have one primer I'm going to be getting rid of and this is also new to my collection this is the Pacifica vegan collagen skin solve prime blur and hydrate primer <sighs> this just pills up on me really badly anytime I use this like within an hour after using my like morning time skincare so I'm not going to be able to reach for this on a very frequent basis unless it's like a weekend day that I do my skincare and then I'm doing my makeup later in the day it's just way too finicky and even like when I do use it I don't feel like it does that much like it's not a primer I feel like adds really anything to my makeup routine so I'm just going to be decluttering that I have a powder I've decided to declutter and I wasn't going to but then I was like you know what I don't even really like loose powder anymore and I'm comfortable with the few I have left in my collection that I just didn't feel like I needed this anymore it's the beauty bakery flower better not bitter powder it's just a little bit more full coverage than I prefer and I really only like this for setting underneath my eyes and I have definitely just been preferring a pressed powder. I don't know what it is about just a pressed powder for setting underneath my eyes and all over my face. I've just been preferring that lately. So I don't see myself getting a ton of use out of this. May as well declutter it. Okay, I have quite a few bronzers I'm going to be decluttering. I actually have six. So first up, I'm decluttering this product from Fenty Beauty. It's the Mash Matchstick in Amber, which I had been using yeah, Amber. I had been using as a contour product, but I prefer the Oma Beauty and I rarely contour. The only thing I ever contour is my nose and I don't even do that that frequently. So I really have not reached for this much at all this year. So I'm ready to pass that along. Also the Mented Bronzer in Beach Bum. I think this is beautiful when I first apply this, but for some reason this does not stay on my skin. It wears away into nothing. It kind of looks patchy as it wears away. And even though I think this is so beautiful when I first apply it, it's a beautiful warm tone bronzer for the summer. It just does not last or does not stay on my skin. So I never reach for it. Also new to my collection this year. This one was also new to my collection. I'm getting better about saying goodbye to things that are new to my collection this year. Um, the LYS bronzer. This is a one that I was expecting I would really like kept trying to like this one and I just am not loving it. It just does not give me that seamless blend that I really am looking for for my bronzer and there are so many other bronzer formulas in my collection that I prefer over this one that I just don't see myself reaching for it. So there's no sense in me keeping that. In my chopping block, I decided to finally get rid of my L'Oreal True Matte Lumi Bronze It. This is more of a contour shade for me, but the finish of this product is very like satin and kind of shimmery which is just not what i'm looking for in a product that i'm looking to like sculpt my face so i'm gonna be getting rid of that as well as my hourglass luminous bronze light hourglass is just not my favorite brand anymore and i have other bronzers that offer a beautiful luminous glow that i prefer over this one i've been loving the huda glowish which is a little bit less glowy than this one but i don't want my bronzer to be too glowy anyway and this is one of those products, this was in my whole collection project pan. I had to lower my usage goal and the thought of trying to actually pan this just does not sound enjoyable to me. So I knew at that point that it was ready to let that go or I was ready to let that go. And then another bronzer that the thought of actually panning this just does not interest me at all is my Lawless bronzer. This is another bronzer that I just don't feel like has the most seamless blend to it and it's not something i get super excited about using and usually i love and get super excited about putting my bronzer on and when i reach for this i just don't feel excited about my bronzer for the day so i will be decluttering that as well sorry i do have a seventh bronzer actually i forgot i just tossed this in my bin this morning this is from kylie cosmetics it's in the shade tequila tan um you can't get this anymore because this was from her old the old kylie before they reform or rebranded this is not very pigmented it's a super buildable and it just takes a lot of effort to get like the bronzed effect that i want 
it's just not worth it to me. So I will be decluttering that. Uh, speaking of Kylie Cosmetics, I'm also going to be decluttering my Kylie concealer. I just have other concealers I prefer over this one. This you can't get anymore. I just don't need this in my collection anymore. Normally I really struggle to declutter blush, but I actually have five blushes to declutter. One of them, really new to my collection. This just did not work for me. It's the Freck Cheek Slime. I have mine in the shade Fielding, which it's really a shade for me on this. Um, as well as I don't think the formula is the most easy to work with. So I do not see myself reaching for this at all. No sense in me keeping that. Also the Kiko Milano Ray of Love blush. This is like so glowy that it just it does not look flattering on my cheeks which I finally finally come to realize so I just don't need that anymore I'm also going to be decluttering the two hourglass blushes I have left in my collection I have dim infusion as well as euphoric fusion this formula I still really love I just don't the shades just are kind of boring to me kind of I don't know I just I have I love my nabla blushes and there are so many other great blushes that I found uh this year that these just kind of bore me so I don't get excited to reach for those and I will be decluttering those and then I'm also getting rid of my Dominique Cosmetics skin gloss in the shade Sunset Glow I loved this last summer and the few times I tried to use it this year I just do not like how it looks on my skin anymore so I'm going to be getting rid of that I have an eighth bronzer you guys oh my gosh I'm also going to declutter my elf putty bronzer Recently tried this, was not impressed with this, and I do not see myself reaching for this at all. So decluttering that. And then I have three highlights I'm gonna be decluttering. Um, I am gonna be decluttering a Benefit Cookie. This is just uh, too icy for my liking. I also just get so annoyed with the box packaging. I wanted to convince myself that I love this because everybody used to rave about this at least, um, but I just do not like that one on my skin tone. I'm also going to declutter my Jouer Rose Quartz Highlighter. I purchased this during the last Sephora VIB sale and I totally purchased it on a whim. I shouldn't have bought this. I don't really love the formula and the shade is a little bit icier than I prefer. And then I'm also getting rid of my Glam Light Sugar High um, Powder Highlight. This is just a little bit too icy for my liking and with a powder highlight that's already messy but super intense. It just does not work for my skin tone, unfortunately. And I thought about saving this for a body highlight, but it sounds just too messy for me. So I am gonna be getting rid of that. I have one duo I'm getting rid of. I will be decluttering my Jaclyn Hill face duo. I have Pink Me Up and Oh Honey. I just wasn't uber impressed with the formula and I just don't see myself reaching for this that often. The packaging is really bulky and for some reason this packaging just bothers me um so i am going to be decluttering that i did go through all of my like single shadows that are in like a potted form or not just like a z palette type of single and i have six to get rid of so first up i have mac carbon which is just a black eyeshadow i ended up getting this as a free gift and i have not used it and i don't see myself using this i have palettes with a black single if i absolutely need one and i don't know the last time i reached for a black shadow so i'm going to just declutter that i have the super shock shadows from the green like the green packaging from the halo top color pop uh collection in semi-sweet and tassel these two unfortunately have dried out so i'm going to probably have to chuck both of those uh, i also am going to be decluttering ColourPop Party of Five. I have an Adept single that's super similar to this and performs better. So I'm gonna declutter this one as well as Copilot, which is this pink shade that I declutter and then decide not to and declutter and decide not to. And I just need to finally declutter this even though now I'm like, I don't know if I want to. No, I just need, oh, but it's such a pretty um, inner corner highlight. I need to just declutter this, okay. And then finally, I have this one from the ColourPop, the Wild Child Palette Collection. Um, this is in Free Rain. I did keep two of the other shades, but this one's really dark and just not a shade. I see myself using all over the lid, which is how I usually use the ColourPop Super Shock Shadows, rather than like buffing them into the crease. So I just don't see myself getting much use out of this. Therefore, we'll be decluttering. 
I also have one liquid shadow. This is the Dominique Cosmetics Liquid Shadow in Electric Soul. This was in my chopping block. I wasn't excited to reach for this. I don't think it's a good formula. It doesn't stay on my eyeballs. Decluttering. Oh, I have one other highlight I'm decluttering. This is my Glossier Play Nightshine Highlighter um, in the shade Pearl, Pale Pearl. Loved this last year. It was one of my favorite liquid highlights last year. Pulled it out in a shot my stash to use this year and just did not like it on my skin this year. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to pass that along. I have one uh, liquid liner. No, cream liner. Sorry. This is from ColourPop in the shade Best O. This is so old and this needs to be tossed in the trash or someone's going to get an eye infection. And then to round it out, I have four lip products I'm going to be decluttering. Two liquid lipsticks. One is from Galactic. It is a matte lip paint. I do not ever reach for matte liquid lipsticks. I did today and then I had to put a gloss over it. So I just, I, this was in my chopping block and I hadn't reached for it in years, probably since I got it. So you guys were like, girl, why? Like, don't even try it. Just get rid of it. So that was the story with this, as well as this one from Give Me Glow. I don't even know if Give Me Glow makes their liquid lipsticks anymore, but I'm pretty sure this is at least four or five years old, so this should not be going on my lips. Um, and this was in the shade Sweater Weather. <clears throat> and then this is a purchase from this year, but this shade just does not work for me, nor does the formula. It's from Vive Cosmetics in the shade Vive. It's a really beautiful pale nude shade. Unfortunately, it just does not look good on my complexion, which not everything is. So this just needs to get passed along. And then same with this one from KKW, which they're rebranding as well. Um, but this was in the shade four nude. And this just is, it makes my teeth just look super yellow. So I just do not like wearing this. So going to be decluttering that. And after that, that is an empty bin. Those are all of the products that I'm going to be decluttering. I feel really good about this. I'm excited to update my inventory spreadsheets and see where we're at. I'll probably be really discouraged after that because I'll think like, oh my gosh, I got rid of so many things. My categories are going to be so much better and then they probably won't be and I'll be crying. Anyway, that is going to wrap it up for today's video. Thank you guys so much for sticking around to watch. I would love to know in the comments below, have you recently decluttered anything or finished something up? Let me know in the comments. Thank you guys so much for supporting me as you always do. I love you guys so much and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.